This is Mary with The Daily Cell, and today I wanted to show you how to make some flag bunting. Recently for a school festival, we had to make a lots of this flag bunting, and it's really quick and easy, and just wanted to show you how to do it. So, a yard of fabric was plenty for as many flags as I needed, but if you just want a few, a half yard, maybe a third of a yard would do the same. Just get your fabric and fold it in quarters. I did the salvage to salvage. And again, this way, quarters lengthwise. If it has a white selvage like a lot of fabrics do, just go ahead and rip that off because you don't want that on your flag. Then I made a paper pattern and I marked it with a marking pencil, just the corners, just the. And then I flipped it this way so you can get more flags in. Flip, flip, flip. We had one fabric that was dark and was hard to see the blue marking pencil, so we used a sharpie and we just dot, 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 dot. And when you cut it with the pinking shears, you're not going to see that anyway. So you can mark it either way you want to do it. Then when you get all your flags cut, I had five different fabrics. you got to decide on a pattern of how you want your fa colors to go. Um, we did Roy D. Biv because you can't go wrong with uh, the colors of the rainbow in the order that the rainbow has. So that was my order. And the reason I just set out a pattern is because one time I did a random, I had a bunch of flags and I randomly placed it. It was too many decisions to make. So if you have a pattern, you don't have to think about it. It goes really fast. Also, you can start anywhere in the pattern. You don't always have to start with purple. This flag, I did start with purple, but another flag I started with the green. Just go in the same order. So I just bought a spool of ribbon, and I bought, uh, I think it's a quarter wide, it might be three-eighths wide. I just bought the whole spool, grow grain ribbon, it's easiest to sew on, but you can buy, I've done it on cheaper ribbon. I left 15 inches on the end to tie it onto something, tree, and then I put my flag on and pinned them. The next one was five inches. Oops. I do them five inches apart. You can do them closer together and just down the line, down the line, just keep pinning them on. And then when it's time to sew them, this is the sewn. And they're all flip flopped. It's one straight stitch. It's one straight stitch. Started at this flag and they're all pinned. Didn't stop at each flag, just kept going down my ribbon and sewed it all the way down. And we have yards and yards of bunting. Whoops. And it's pinked because it's just going to be hanging outside. It's not hemmed at all. And you can, if you need to, uh, fray check the ends of your ribbon if you have. And that's it. It's pretty easy and it looks festive. Thanks. Bye.